afternoon, girls and boys. Here we go, the very, very last part of the book. Please excuse the lawnmower in the background. That's my neighbour. Unbelievable. I couldn't wait to get to school on Monday to tell everyone about this great big massive prize. I didn't even remember to ask about the playoffs until Matthew greeted me at the gate. What happened to you on Friday? Are you better now? What? You missed the grand final because you were sick, didn't you? You must have been so sick. You must have had to go to your own funeral to miss that. Oh, uh, yeah. I nearly forgot. No, I wasn't sick. I was at Movie World. Oh, sick, man. That's dead cool. Still, I can't believe you went on the date of the grand final. What was your mum thinking? Aye, I know. Believe me, it wasn't my first choice, or my second, or even my last. It was Lisa's birthday, so I had to go. It's a long story, tell you later. But you're never gonna, gonna, gonna believe what happened. You're gonna be so jealous. I'm so excited to tell him, until I remembered the playoffs. I rambled on asking him questions faster than a Batman car. So, uh, who won the playoffs then? Did he just award it to Nigel, or did Josh take my place? Please tell me Josh won. I couldn't stand it if Nigel won. Did you get to see it? Who watched? Was there many there? Whoa, 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 hang on a minute. One question at a time, Matthew said. Put his hand up near my face. And no, Josh didn't win because he didn't have to take your place either. Nigel didn't win either, because you weren't here. So Mr Hagenbottom said that he was going to cancel it until this week when you get back. And then we'll play the final then. Gasp for breath as my jaw dropped open wide enough to let a whole army of flies swarm in. I was totally and utterly gobsmacked. You, you mean, uh, I was unable to get my words out. I still get to play in the grand final. I'm still, like, in. Yep, said Matthew. I volunteered to take your place, but Mr H said that you had won the heats. And you'd worked very hard at school, so you deserved to play it. You're kidding me, right? You're pulling my leg. What? I'm not touching your leg. Why are you always talking about your leg? You looked at me dead confused. You're so dumb sometimes. I'm not kidding. You get to play this Friday night. What is it? The ride at our classroom door. I don't think my jaw had returned to its proper position. I was still dragging along the ground flabbergasted. I looked inside, and the best ever teacher was sitting at his desk, and the best ever school, and the best ever whole wide world. I wanted to run up, give him a big hug. I thought, no, I would embarrass myself if I did that. I just couldn't wait to tell him what had happened. It was probably the closest PlayStation game I'd ever played, but then I finally, finally won the grand final. I made one of the weirdest, strangest decisions in my life. I decided to donate the winning game to the runner-up, and that was Nigel, the nastiest boy in fifth grade. Well, I'd won five games and a console at the weekend, so I decided it would be a nice idea to give somebody else just a wee bit of my good luck. And you know what? It actually felt really, really good to give something to someone else. Something I've never ever done before, except for birthdays and at Christmas time. It gave me a wee warm, fuzzy feeling in my belly. And then Nigel said, oh, gee, thanks, Ryan. That's dead cool of you to give me that after you won it. I smiled. I don't think we've ever seen Nigel smile before. Didn't look that mean after all. After that, he even asked me if I wanted to be friends, which was kind of scary. And really did scare me quite a bit. Actually, it was Mum's idea to give him the prize. But when I thought about it, it was a pretty good suggestion. I guess my mum does know what she's talking about sometimes. Well, probably all the time. She was definitely right when she said, you know, sometimes, Ryan, good things can indeed come out of bad things. There you go, boys and girls. That's the end of that quite, quite, quite long book. But there we go. It just goes to show you, see, if you're nice, nice things happen to nice people. There we go. So anyway, all the lawnmowers are going in the background. So I'm off and new story starting tomorrow night. Be good. Bye-byes. Bye-bye.